So here uh, I'm just um, again, you know, going through, blocking out, uh, establishing some some values very quickly, and uh, from a con concept art standpoint, this is this is really uh, probably no new surprise for you. Um, the only thing is, I, I probably think that uh, to most people who are new to ZBrush, uh, the advantage here being that really. Uh, you're not married to any one view. Uh, it's very easy and, and without having to retouch or redraw the image, uh, you can turn it, uh, flip it and, and change its uh, you know, angle view. So I think uh, probably I set my angle view a lot of times to 35, uh, which is almost very close to like sort of a, a 35 millimeter view. Uh, and so you can try out different perspective skews and, and see or perspective angles or drawing angles and, and see what works for you and uh, to better compose your, your image beforehand with the line uh, and then you can come in and you know start rendering. Uh, this, is a <clears throat> this frame is actually a little bit more along where I have two samples and I'm actually uh, working on multiple layers uh, doing my buildup but probably when I come to a point where my block out is a little bit more solid uh, what I'll do is I'll go through and uh, you know, um, actually make a new layer and on that new layer, what I'll do is if I hold Option in Photoshop and on the layer menu, actually click down to Merge Visible. It doesn't actually merge all visible on, uh, you know, whatever the active layer is. What it, you know, well, actually it does to the active layer, but uh, it doesn't merge all of the layers together. It just makes basically a comp. And then from there, I'll, I'll start doing a paint over of the, the block end comp. So, you know, should anything go wrong, I can uh, make further changes by using different uh, layers or separating the layers so that um, I have the choice of, of going back and backtracking. So, uh, you know, because you never know, say uh, an art director or a producer or someone may come in and have uh, a different set of input for, you know, whatever you're painting and uh, you, you want to be able to, to go back to your, your data and, and say, well, okay, you know, back to the drawing board, I can you know, take a few steps back to make a few steps forward. And, uh, you know, from here, probably applying some textures, color, that sort of thing uh, would be about the normal set of activities. So here I'm just doing some light rendering and, uh, you know, getting a small brush going in and doing the, the tedious work. I think probably when you, when you come to clean up a section, it's even the painting half is a lot like sculpting. Uh, you know, you're, you're molding uh, light and shadow together so that uh, you can have sort of a rendered look. And uh, while it look may look a little bit more roughed in, uh, the closer you get when you step back, uh, take a good squint at the image, uh, you know, you really start to see how uh, a lot of your values come together and they start to click.